I'm, I don't think I'm like in disbelief, but I'm just like, holy crap, I really just did that. Worst case, I come crashing down, there's these bars, and I should be okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be taking you through a glute focused workout, my grocery haul, and I was gonna take you guys to get coffee with me, but I forgot my SD card this morning, so that was really pleasant when I clicked the record button. But anyway, I got my usual three shots of espresso with stevia and oat milk. So I'm gonna drink that on the way to the gym and then we're gonna get right into our glute workout. Let's jump right into this booty day. So first I'm gonna start off by doing one set of 20 of body weight squats just to get everything nice and warmed up. So now after my body weight squats, I'm gonna do a couple dynamic stretches to just to warm up. My hips are feeling pretty tight. So I'm gonna do my leg swings like I normally do. And in my previous video um, from like a couple weeks ago, I also, I go like a little bit more in depth with like the leg swings and um, how to do like the side to side lunges. So I am just gonna get right into it. Cause I'm gonna do one set of 20 for each leg swings. So side to side, back and forth. Next, for the dynamic stretches, I'm going to do side-to-side -side lunges. This is just gonna help get everything nice and loosened up, especially my hips. And then we will be all warmed up and ready to train glutes. All right, so I don't know if you noticed, but when I was doing the side-to-side -side lunges, I was lifting up my heel uh, the leg that was straightened. And I feel like when I lift my heel up, it allows me to drive the opposite side down so much more so I can really get a good stretch. The first exercise I'm gonna start off with are Smith machine squats. So where I'm focusing this on my glutes, what I wanna do is really drive my butt back like I'm sitting down and then push up through my heels. You always wanna to remember to keep your back nice and straight, keep your core engaged. Whenever you're doing any exercise, we're gonna drive our butt back like we're sitting down and push up through our heels. You always wanna make sure that when you're coming up at the top, you never lock your knees out, like fully straighten them. When you, so go down slow and controlled, push up through your heels, and then keep a slight bend, and then go down again. So never ever lock your knees out. We are in like what, the second week of April almost? That means summer's right around the corner, so I'm not messing around. I've got 25 pounds on each side of the Smith machine, and I'm gonna shoot for 12 to 15 reps. That probably seems like a lot because that's a little bit heavy for me, but I'm gonna put my headphones on and get this shit done because we have a summer body to achieve, so let's go. I did 16 reps with 25 pounds on each side, so I'm adding 10 more pounds on each side. I'm gonna put my belt on and I'm gonna shoot for 10 to 12 reps because I know I can do it. So let's go. I was able to get 11 reps with 35 pounds on each side. So now I'm gonna move up to plates, which are 45 pounds on each side. And we'll see how many we get. I'm gonna shoot for like eight to 10. The last time I ever squatted plate was just like on a regular squat bar, not like a Smith machine, but just free weight squat bar. And that was probably back in like 
literally 2017. I haven't pushed myself like that in a really long time in the gym. And so that's why I'm using the Smith machine because I don't have anybody here to spot me. So worst case, I come crashing down. There's these bars and I should be okay. So yeah, I'm going to shoot for like eight to 10 reps, make sure I have my belt on. And the biggest thing is for me to make sure that my form is perfect because if I um, don't have like my back nice and straight, I definitely will be feeling this tomorrow and I wanna be able to keep continuing to lift heavy. So let's get after it. Let me pick a really good song and let's push this weight. 45 pounds on each side. Let's get my belt on, let's get a really good song on. And oh God, let's see how this goes. I don't even know why I'm I don't think I'm like in disbelief but I'm just like holy crap I really just did that like I said I literally haven't squatted plates even though this is on the Smith machine like right now for me this is the safest way to go because where this is so heavy and I haven't done it in a long time and I don't have a spot the Smith machine allows me to come down slow and controlled rather than dropping the weight and injuring myself. And there's nobody up here to help me if that was to happen. So definitely if you're looking to go heavy and you're kind of unsure and you don't have a spot, don't be afraid because the Smith machine is a really, really awesome way to go. It does give you that assistance. And as long as you have your, um, like your little stop bars up, that way it can catch the weight in case something happens, you'll be all set. I'm so freaking excited. The second exercise we're gonna do today are hip abductors, A, B, D. So these are gonna be the ones where you are pushing the weight out rather than working like your inner thighs. So for this one here, that's the hip adductor, D, D. So that's gonna be working your inner thighs because you're squeezing in. The abductor is going to work your outer thighs and your glutes. So like the sides of your glutes, which is your gluteus medius. I'm gonna do like super heavy and we'll shoot for about 10, 10 reps um, and I'll do three sets of that. For the hip abductors, for me personally, I don't feel it as much when I'm laying back directly on this pad here. So I actually like to sit up. So I'm basically at like a 90 degree angle. Um, if it feels better for you to have your whole back on the mat, then by all means do that. Do whatever is comfortable for you. Um, and I also used to hang on up here and like stand up and all that shit when I was trying to be like an Instagram baddie and then realized that that doesn't actually work. You might be feeling it, but for me anyway, I didn't really feel like it worked that well. So let's see, where am I at, 60 pounds? So I'm just sitting straight up keeping my back straight, my core, really just engaging my core, and then pushing out with my glutes. So squeeze and make sure you're really driving your knees into the pads. Come back in, slow and control. Squeeze your glutes and you should pretty much feel yourself like shaking in a seat. Also, um, I also really love to hang onto these handles. I feel like I um, have just so much more support with keeping my back straight and my core engaged. Last but not least, we're gonna do hip thrust with a dumbbell. I'm using this um, bench here where you can use, you can like stack it to whatever height you want. So, <sighs> I'm gonna keep my entire shoulder blades on this bench. Keep my legs out about a 90 degree angle. Just do whatever's comfortable for you. And then I'm putting a 25 pound dumbbell right about just like below my hips. 
dropping my entire back and butt and pushing up through my heels. And I'm gonna do 10 reps and three sets. Now I'm gonna head over to a smoothie shop and grab a smoothie with lots of carbs because we did booty. And let's go back to my place and I'll take you guys through my grocery haul. For my smoothie, I got the beach bum, which is strawberries, bananas, and dark chocolate. I was kind of skeptical but it's really good. It actually just literally tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry with a hint of banana. It's actually really tasty. So I just wanted to do a quick little grocery haul with you guys before I end this vlog. Um, uh, this is basically what I'll be eating for this week. Um, so I have a four pack of fillets and I'll probably make that tonight with jalapenos put those like all over the top in the pan and then also add some fresh Parmesan like from the block, that's really, really good. And then I got 96% uh, lean ground beef. I have two boneless skinless chicken breasts, which what I'm gonna do with these also is I'm gonna make like little slits in them and then stuff them with red pepper, green pepper, jalapenos, and probably like some pepper jack cheese. And that's so amazing in the oven. And then I also have some just boneless, skinless chicken tenderloins. So that's what I have for meat. Oh, actually, hold on, two more things. And then I have some bacon and some 85% lean ground turkey. So a lot of times when I do like ground turkey or ground beef, I really like to make bowls. Normally it's with rice, so it'll be like ground turkey and rice and maybe I'll add like some sauteed peppers. I've been really enjoying that lately. So I've got two red peppers, two green peppers, and these are huge. I just literally cannot believe how huge these are. A bunch of, I think you pronounce these Roma tomatoes, a bunch of jalapenos. Remind me to wash my hands after this so I don't rub my eyeballs. Two giant avocados, Fair Life because I'm lactose intolerant, so if I'm gonna drink milk, this is the way to go. It's a little expensive, but it's um, much better than not feeling well. One sweet potato, and I'm gonna try to make sweet potato wedges on my own in the air fryer, which I'm really excited about. I've never done it before. I think they'll turn out really good though. And then just some eggs. That'll get me through probably the entire week. I'll come up with like different bowls, um, and then I didn't have to buy like rice or anything because I have a whole bunch of jasmine rice that I just keep up in the cabinet at all times. That is about it. And then of course my shake. I'm not gonna do like a meal prep in this vlog because it'll end up being like a really, really long video and I would much rather do just like a separate meal prepping day because that's pretty time consuming. I'm going to end this vlog in the kitchen today because it's almost time for lunch. I'm only going to do a meal prep uh, video or vlog really soon here, especially because I'm going to have like a lot more space um, coming up, which I'm really, really excited about. Thank you guys so much for coming along today. If you enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing like my little grocery haul, my awesome booty workout, please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys so, so much, and I hope you have an amazing week. Set some goals and crush them, and I will see you guys soon.